Hi everyone, today we're continuing chapter 3, Origin of Medicine. We will take lessons 3, 4 and 5. In this part, we will talk about a historical thing. We will talk about the origin of medicine, okay? We will talk about the medicine in the Pharaoh's time or the ancient time. How did we know everything we knew? We knew that from two things. There is something called papyrus. It's a piece of paper, it's a plant that they used to write on it everything. They uh, wrote uh, the history, they wrote the medical descriptions, they wrote everything on it. We will take two of them today. Edwin Smith papyrus and Ebris papyrus. What are these? Okay, Edwin Smith, he came to Egypt and he bought a papyrus from the Egyptians. When he got it and um, translated it and understood it, he found that it has the ancient Egyptian surgical and medical practices. He found that they wrote everything about the surgical and medical things they had. So Edwin Smith, he bought the papyrus and he found it and found that. But when did he bought it? He bought it in 1862. He bought it in 1862. Okay, but this papyrus was written in the Pharaoh's time, in the ancient time, it's very old. It was written between 15 to 1700 years BC, and as we said, BC before Christ. But there is something Edwin didn't know. He didn't know which one wrote it, Amenhotep, the king himself, or the students that was working or they were working with him. So this is Edwin Smith papyrus. It was written by the Pharaoh's time from 15 to 1700 BC and it was bought by Edwin himself in 1862. And the king, Imhotep, or the student wrote it, we don't know till now. Another one came to Egypt and bought another papyrus to get to or and understand the medical things they did in the ancient time. This one was George Ebris. George Ebris came to Egypt and bought another papyrus in 1873. But this one was written between 1550 uh, between 1536 BC. Okay, this papyrus was also talking about the medical things that the Egyptians did in the ancient time. Ebris was an Egyptologist. Egyptologist meant or means that he studied the history of Egypt. He studied the uh, Egyptian language. Okay, so these are the two papyrus we have today. The Edwin Smith and George Ebris. Okay, so Edwin Smith papyrus and Ebris papyrus are called primary sources but the description, the meaning of these papyrus in the Arabic or English language, we call it a secondary sources. What's meant by primary source and secondary source? We will know. The primary source, it's an artifact that comes from a time being studied. It's the original thing, like the papyrus. This is the original thing. It was old, it was written by its own language or their language, so this one is the original. We call it primary source. The things that original, we call it primary source. Okay? But when we describe it and when we translate it, okay, this one we call it secondary source. Okay? So the thing when it's original, its own language, its primary source. But when we translate it, when we get it from other thing, we call it secondary source. Still, what's meant by that? For example, the papyrus. This one was written in the ancient time on a papyrus paper, okay? Now we can read it on laptops, books, or the newspaper. We can read them on these things. The computer, books, or newspaper, magazines, all these things are secondary sources, okay? Because they get their information from something else. From the computer, when we read something, that's in a book, okay? When we read it, it's in a papyrus. So the old things, the original things, we call it primary source. 
But the other thing that describes, analyze these things, we call them secondary source. Okay? This is it for today. Thank you and goodbye.